Miss and Noel Gordine on the big black couch. Yeah. So let's get started. Yes. I recently heard you on Big City FM. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Big City. Oh, yeah. And you said something along the lines of your heart was in Boston, mm -hmm. I believe, and your soul was in Mississippi. Can you elaborate? It's pretty much like a, a motto for me. I, I just like to say, you know, because I, I was born in Brockton, Massachusetts. I like to say Brockton, Boston, because we right near each other. We, we play cousins as part yeah. of cities. We know, we know. Yeah, you know what I mean? But my family's from Mississippi at the same time. So I like to say city to the heart, but southern to the soul. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because I grew up in both areas. So, uh, you know, but I was born here. So, you, you know, but Brockton is city of fighters, city of champions. So, you know. So if you're sorry, not to cut you off. If I had to look through your iPod, if you own an iPod, what mm -hmm. music would be on your pay playlist? Well, it, I mean, I'm going to take it back here, you see, because, I, I mean, I've been okay. told many times throughout my life that I have an old soul. Okay. But it was the music that I grew up on from my pop. You know, it was, it was the eight tracks that we was playing back in the day. His tapes <laughs> and Maxell tapes used to play, you know, the black and gold joints. Yes. <laughs> Marvin Gaye, Sam Cooke, uh, Tyrone Davis, Johnny Taylor, okay. uh, Jerry Butler, you know, Solomon Burke, things like that. So it was, it was all that old soul music that I grew up on. That's where music comes from. It yes. comes from the soul. That's why we deemed it soul music. Absolutely. And that's how I feel about your CD, especially that last song, Beautiful. Yeah. Like, what inspired the video and the song for that track? As far as the song, I did that uh, with the talented and genius of a writer, Ryan Toby. Uh, mm -hmm. Y'all know him from City High. And uh, he's written so many records in the industry for people. But uh, that record, I just thought, needed to be heard at this point in time. Uh, mm -hmm. Because there's so much music out there that is just, as far as lyrically, uh, it's condescending to women, you know, degrading to women. Mm -hmm. And I just thought, you know, it, it seemed like it was being accepted now. I it mean, is. because no, it's being... Yeah. Right, like it's it's just like the listeners. I don't, I don't know what's going I'm on. Keep it real. It's pure pure coonery. Like yeah. I'm not, I'm not even gonna lie. Really, like um, our music industry, along with our film and television, is taking a dip for the Absolutely. worse. Absolutely. Like we don't even have regular sitcoms anymore. Right. We just have reality TV. Yes. And award shows. Yes. Or sports. <laughs> in award shows, this music is actually like the the categories are getting cut out. So a lot of the R and B categories are leaving a lot of these. You know. Uh, video shows and, and you know the, the, all of that kind oh, of thing. Man, so, when's the last time we've seen an actual video on MTV? Right. Crickets. When it, yeah, <laughs> like, it's just crazy. But, you know, I just thought the record needed to be heard. Uh, and, and with me, I mean, it, it hits close to home because my mom, um, up until the point I was born by my biological father, was a victim of domestic violence. So, you know, it hits close to home. And then, I mean, I just think we need to get back to that good old-fashioned respect for these women. So my next question is, what age did you realize you was like, I got it, I could sing at what age? <laughs> wow, I'd have to say I was in junior high and I was listening to uh, all kinds of music, just you know, just as being grown up within the music that my pop was playing, and mm -hmm. I just started uh, trying to sing like Prince or sing okay. like Sam Cooke, Marvin Gaye. I was about thirteen. Okay. 12, 13. But I didn't come out with it until you know I was ready, which was probably about fifteen or so, fifteen or sixteen. And started doing you know uh, like talent shows and just okay. going out getting any gig I could a lot of people were like you know I would go out to the little corner bu uh, pub or bar and it was like you can't be a you're not even of age I was like I don't want to get paid I just want to come in and sing you know and it was that at that point where people knew that it was a passion of mine and I wanted to be recognized for loving music and getting out there and doing it not for pay you know I wasn't doing it for pay I was just doing it because I loved it and the music was in me okay. so what three adjectives would describe your music or you as a person I'd have to say soulful, uh, uh, clean, mm -hmm. and timeless. Timeless. Perfect. <laughs> That's definitely perfect, especially like when you say clean, especially with music, because as artists, as people, as personalities on television, mm -hmm. we have an image to keep. Right. And a lot of people, like we may not think it, but we're role models mm -hmm. out Absolutely. there, including like people that are watching the TV show right now. Like if they want to get into TV, hopefully yeah. they'll do it based off what me and Gina was doing. Right. are doing um so like with music it's definitely important a lot of artists don't don't know that yeah. and sex 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 okay. especially in the r&b world which sells right right now that we see a lot of singers um i don't want to put anyone on blast but you know that's what right. we do on 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 um on shine chris brown for example yeah came out clean cut clean cut mm -hmm. not even with the incident you know that that he had right. in la but just his whole music in general it's right. changed from the clean cut to just basically, I just want to talk about and sing about sex. Right, right. And I mean, the, you know, I, I think that's a testament to people that he has around him. Mm -hmm. Do we, does he have anybody around him to be like, look, Chris, 
I don't think that's cool. That's a good, not a good you know, right after the whole incident being on the talk show with no sleeves on. Exactly. Cats. But like right now that's it's accepted. Move. You know, but it's accepted. Yeah, it we're is. accepted. And so therefore I don't I'm in a shade of gray right now. Like I really <laughs> nobody knows what the music industry is all about right now. It's mm -hmm. it's it's you know, it doesn't have an identity. It's, it's so happy. open, yeah. It's okay. and it's. Uh, I mean, it makes a lot for a lot of artists like myself in in my lane and my genre. It makes it hard for us, but you know, we love the music. Speaking of shades, like we have a hot topic. Mm -hmm. You know, we're talking about different shades. Absolutely. You know, dealing with minority women. Like, mm -hmm. how do you feel about how the how the minority woman is portrayed? Well, I mean, just let me say this first of all. I mean, my mom is light skinned super light skinned mm -hmm. and from Mississippi. A lot of my aunts are as well. My grandmama's a little slightly darker shade like me. Um, but I, I've dated women all complexions, um, all backgrounds. So I think, I mean, we were getting at the, you know, a lot of the roles that mm -hmm. these women get and receive. You know, it, it goes further than just the writers. It's mm -hmm. also the casting directors, mm -hmm. people that go out there and cast. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I mean, do I think it, it obviously it's, it's, you know, it's serious because there's percentages based on uh, mm -hmm. whether the darker complected woman gets work mm -hmm. but uh, is it a problem I think it is I think it is um, is it right no it's not we need to fix it well tell our viewers your contact information so we get in contact yeah, with we you we reach you how they can get the new CD which is phenomenal well I could give out my cell phone number <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> but y'all can reach me uh, on Facebook and Twitter it's Noel Gordine uh, N O E L G O U R D I N. That's on T Facebook. Noel, Noel. Yeah, T <laughs> Noel, baby. Uh, it's on Facebook and Twitter as well. I, I work both of my Facebook uh, pages. I have a fan page and, and a personal page. So hit me up there. I have a website, Noel Gordine Music uh, dot com. Check me out there, and uh, you know I got shows coming up in the, in the, around the city. So. You know, I'm gonna be posting all of that. So yeah, yeah, that's look out. Definitely well, we do want to thank you for coming out. You blaze our stage with that beautiful song, beautiful. Blessing. And right now we're gonna go to a break. Keep it locked, boss. We'll be right back after these brief messages.